Hi there, this is Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com and I'm back with another tutorial. Um, a lot of you have been asking me how do I color my line arts, which is all the, on this pink bunny right here, all the lines going around to form the character. And um, I have demonstrated this guys on another video which is called Basics to Sketchbook Pro. And for those of you that haven't seen it, let me show you something just quickly. Here is my profile page on YouTube and as you come down, 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 down. Um, here are my little uh, sections. Here I have a section of a playlist of free drawings and software tutorials. And here, as you can see, you can see all these different types of tutorials. Um, this one here is the basics to Sketchbook Pro. There are a lot of questions that can be easily answered if you watch this video. Okay, so go ahead and check that out. It's on my profile page. Okay, guys. So back to this now. Um, how to color line art and the same technique goes for coloring everything that's on your layer okay so here on the layers tab I've got two layers the top layer is my line art my inks my ink lines okay and this one underneath is my base colors of this pink bunny rabbit which is a new character I've designed and you'll be seeing more of him soon I'm not sure if it's gonna be pink or not but um, yeah you'll be seeing more of him anyway on the layer, there's a little uh, padlock here, if you can see it clearly. It uh, looks like it's unlocked and it's got like a transparency texture on it. This is called the lock transparency function, okay? It's on each layer. And when you lock it, I'll do it on this one as well, actually. There we go. Uh, what this means, it means that it has locked anything outside whatever you have painted or drawn. So in this case, if I, on this case here of the of the of the pink color of the base colors of the bunny um, I can touch and I can modify anything to this bunny and nothing around it so basically anything that's on this layer can be modified anything outside this layer for example if I take a paintbrush and I'll get this blue color um, if I press down on the white area as you can see nothing is happening I've locked everything okay so anything around this pink bunny I cannot touch so if I stroke through the pink bunny you can see that it only affects the bunny okay and because all the paint is on this layer only okay anything outside I cannot touch I hope that makes sense guys okay you can do it to any color you want you can make it green you can do anything you want okay guys and the same thing goes for the line work okay if I select the line work layer the lock transparency is nice and locked okay and if I do the same thing with this green look at that it made the lines green. Then do nothing else to anything outside the layer, okay? Or whatever's on this layer. And so I was to go back. Now I'm going to show you what I do when I'm coloring my line art. I select the base color using the eyedropper too. This is the eyedropper, okay? If you select that, it's also here as well. This icon here. If you select it, and I pick this pink color, so I know my base color is now here, and drag down a little bit, just a tiny little bit. To make it darker and now if I paint over this color now is related to the base color it's in the same family so it gels together nicely okay look at that cool nicely gels together maybe it should have been a little bit more darker slightly yeah that's better so that's what I do and the only thing I'll, I'll leave black is the eyebrows and the eyes and sometimes the mouth as well depending on the type of character I'm drawing but in this case it's just the eyebrows and the eyes okay just so it makes it look you know more obvious there so you can see the expression and the next thing I'll do is take the red color of the nose and drag, drag that down a little bit as well and color that in too okay forgot that line there as well so I'm gonna select my color that I used before yeah, just do that with it. All right, there we go. All right, guys. So that's how you do it. You just lock the transparency, select your base color, drag it down a little bit to get a darker tone of the same color, and go over it. And that's it. And remember, the same thing goes for the base color too. Okay, guys. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope it um, helps you. So get stuck in and create your stuff and have fun. I'm Paris Christou, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon on another video. Bye bye for now.